Good evening, everyone. The rarest of the rare. The RBPP archive, dating back to 1973, includes a treasure trove of fascinating records, some widely known like the first and so far only confirmed breeding record of Purple Heron, Kent, 2010. Others are other occurrences which were shrouded in, mis in secrecy at the time. As panel archivist, I'd like to dig into that treasure chest and share with you today some of the rarest of the rare. First, some perspective. About 210 native species nest in the UK regularly. Since 1973, we have reported on a total of 180 native species in our annual reports published in British Birds. Of these, 78 are annual breeders. These are the most important from a conservation point of view. Species like black redstart, common pochard, little ring plover and osprey shown here. But that leaves about 100, which are less frequently reported to us. Some have never bred, some have only bred on a few occasions. It is these, arguably the rarest of the rare, that attract the greatest interest among birders and which are the focus of this talk. In 1947, Arthur Ransom published the classic Great Northern, which described finding breeding Great Northern divers. I read this book as a teenager. Perhaps it sparked my lifelong interest in breeding birds and especially the unusual ones. It is reported that a pair of Great Northern Divers did actually breed in 1970, before the RBBP was founded, but there has been no confirmed breeding by the species since, although we have reported at least seven instances of mixed pairing with black-throated divers, most recently in 2017. However, although originally published as a pure pair, it seems likely that the 1970 record might actually have involved a mixed pair, and the presence of a hybrid bird paired with an adult Great Northern Diver at the site the following year might support that view. Nowadays, the RBBP ensures there is no doubt over such significant records. So we await the first definitive breeding by this species. Perhaps here is an opportunity for one of you to make history. The pie chart shows how we classify the breeding status of rare breeding birds. The rarer bird breeders could fall into any of the four categories pointed out here. Over half of the species classed as rare breeders have only nested, occasionally, have never been proved to breed at all, or are new colonisers like cattle egret. After cattle egrets first bred in 2008, there was a lull in records, but in recent years numbers have ramped up with 35 pairs at 11 sites in 2020. A few species like Rhineck and Golden Oriole, were once regular breeders, but they, ha they have not bred for over 10 years, so are now classed as former breeders. This photo shows a male Rhineck that held territory in Hampshire in 2018 and cleared out this nest hole in hope and anticipation, but it remained unpaired. Most records of Rhinecks in breeding habitat from the last 30 years have been singing birds in the forests in the Scottish Highlands. Yet when the RBBP was formed in the 1970s, up to 20 pairs of Rhinex bred, mainly in southern England. After a long period of reliable annual breeding, Golden Oriole was last proved to breed in 2009 in Suffolk. Another example is Serin, not shown here, which has not been confirmed breeding since 2006. A paper on breeding Serins in the UK is in preparation, due to be published in British Birds in the summer. And Kentish Plover, also formerly an annual breeder, has not bred for even longer, the last being in 1979. Whilst these species may feasibly nest again, they are certainly among the rarest of the rare now. In the 1970s, two Arctic species nested on the high tops of the Scottish mountains, but since then have occurred only occasionally. Shorelarks bred in 1975 to 77, and there were pairs in several years in the early 2000s, plus a pair in June 2020 in Shetland. Lapland buntings bred in 77 to 80, with singles in five of the six years, 2011 to 16. But there has been nothing since. In contrast, purple sandpipers, which first bred at about the time, same time in the late 1970s, continue to hang on in these remote areas. Some formerly regular breeders like Redback Shrike and Fieldfare now nest only sporadically while others, like Montague's harrier, have very low populations. Such species may soon be classed as former breeders. 
Since 1976, Montague's Harriers have nested annually, but numbers have been declining and there was no confirmed breeding in 2020, as shown here by this graph of numbers breeding between 1973 and 2020. Some species are so rare that they have only bred as part of a mixed pair. Of the 13 species reported as mixed pairs, four are ducks, three are raptors and three are larids, gulls and terns. Many are North American species, including three of these shown here. The first black kite is a European species. We have one record in 2006. Following summering over several years, one bred with a red kite in Highland with two hybrid young fledged. Ring-billed gull, one bird, has occurred in most years in Perth and Kinross since 2009, pairing with a common gull. Although eggs have been laid, no chicks have ever been seen. Northern Harrier, one record in two, 2016, a male bred with a female hen harrier in Orkney. Nest with eggs recorded, but breeding failed after they hatched. Kildare, one bird formed a mixed pair with a ringed plover in Shetland in 2007. The pair were seen distraction displaying, but in this instance, breeding was not confirmed. Even this type of record is valuable and of interest to the RBBP. Kildare are one of only two wholly near Arctic species where breeding has been confirmed in the Western Palearctic. More of the second later. About a quarter of the species on the RBBP list have never bred in the UK. A few, most notably Great Reed Warbler, occur in most years, but all are singing males. There has never been a known instance of a pair, but for two consecutive years in the 1990s, nest building was observed at the same site in Kent. Our database shows that birds singing for at least five days have been recorded in 33 out of the 48 years, with a maximum of five males in 2019. Over 20 species have only appeared in an RBBP report as a single bird in breeding habitat, exhibiting breeding behaviour but not part of an established pair. These four examples have done so, to our knowledge, only once. Buff-breasted sandpiper. In 2008, a single male was reported displaying over a three-day period in early June at a site in Cambridgeshire. Pallid swift. In 2009, one bird was present for an extended period from late April to late May, associating with common swifts and often seen over established common swift breeding air sites. Sardinian warbler, in 2015, a singing male held territory in Cornwall. And then short-toed lark, in 2014, a singing male held territory from mid-May into June in the surprising location of the Outer Hebrides. Another example where we have had only one breeding season record of a single bird in breeding habitat is the great snipe, which displayed in suitable nesting habitat at Cly in Norfolk in 2011. Most still, are singing males like the Western Benelli's warbler in Derbyshire in 2011, the singing booted warbler at Spurn in 1992, and the three spectacled warblers in 92, 99 and 2014, the latter famously built a nest at Burnham over in Norfolk. More promising are the pairs which have teamed up and held territory or displayed, but the breeding attempt progressed no further, as far as we know. Examples of sandling on mountain tops in the Highlands in 1973 and 1974, and turnstone on offshore islands in 1975, 76, and 1992. We also have records of pectoral sandpiper, including displaying pairs at two sites in Scotland in, 2014, in 2004. You can find more details of these and other examples in our Explore Reports facility on our website. All but the most recent of our published reports from British birds are accessible by species, species and year. I recommend you look at Broadbill Sandpiper in 1990, 1983. The blue throat is an example of a species which has bred on more than one occasion, but breeding is still very unusual. Blue throats are particularly interesting as there are two races distinctive in spring. The nearest breeding areas of the white spotted race are in the Netherlands, while red spotted bluethroats nest in Scandinavia. Records of breeding white spotted bluethroats in the UK tend to be in lowland, mainly marsh habitats, and all have been in England. For, for instance, in 2010 to 11, a male held territory at Welney in Norfolk, 
and a male at a site in the Cambridge Fens in 2011 returned in 2012. The only record of confirmed breeding by the white spotted race was on Thorn Moors, South Yorkshire, in 1996, documented here, when amazingly there were two pairs. Red spotted blue throats have bred four times in Highland, with the first in 1968 predating the formation of the RBBP. In 1985, birds were at three sites in northern Scotland and one pair was proved to breed, another bred in 1995. These were in wooded, damp areas, but the most recent record in 2016 was in treeless, montane habitat. Here are the images of the 2016 breeding attempt, which proved to be successful, one young fledged, thanks to the diligent and patient follow-up visits by the finder. A few species have only bred on one occasion. One spotted sandpiper, that's the other near Arctic species, bred on Skye way back in 1975. The record was published at the time by the finder, but we, the panel, recently published further previously unpublished information in British birds on our From the RB RBBP archive series. The left-hand image shows the bird at the site taken at the time. The site was closely monitored and following heavy rain, the nest was deserted. Subsequently, the clutch was collected under license and deposited with the National Museum of Scotland. Two of the eggs were opened, hence the damage, and found to contain partially developed embryos. Although there has been no further recurrence, we have seven further records of spotted sandpipers in breeding territory, but all have been single birds or individuals paired with common sandpipers. Another species that has been proved to breed on only one occasion is the long-tailed skewer. Although there have been single bird summering in Shetland in recent years, amazingly a pair bred in 1980 along the Angus coast in eastern Scotland. Other examples of species which have been proved to breed only once are redneck grebe, night heron and Iberian chiffchaff. All of these species have been recorded in other years as single birds on territory or as part of a mixed pair, but these are the strong candidates to be our rarest breeders. So what of the future? Now with 10 records of spring males holding, ter holding territory, all since 2000, perhaps the next species to be added to our list of breeding birds in the UK will be the Blythe Three Warbler. This one is an autumn bird at Farrell Bird Observatory. We have records of territorial birds in spring from eight recording areas, mainly in Scotland, but also in Cumbria and Lincolnshire. And another prediction, Currently, we have no records on the RBBP database for this species, but surely one year in a northern coniferous forest, someone will find a red flank blue tail. Occurring widely in the Russian taiga, in the last 30 years, it has expanded into Finland as shown by fieldwork for the two European bird atlases. Estimates for the population in Finland vary from 150 to a phenomenal 6,500 pairs. With other eastern vagrants like yellow-browed and palaces warblers overwintering in spring in Britain and being recorded singing in spring, maybe there is a chance. I'll leave you on that optimistic note and I will be happy to answer any questions you might have. <laughs>